Hello Internet, Big Dave here, and welcome to the Weekend Roundup for the week ending on Saturday, July 30th. Yes, the week here on Big Dave is Cheap ends on Saturday, so we do the Weekend Roundup on Saturday. The Weekend Roundup serves as a video blog of sorts where I take a look back at the week that was, the games that we reviewed, and a look ahead to the week that is coming. Hope you all enjoy it. Let's get right into it. The game you're seeing on your screen is Altitude. Altitude had a free-to-play weekend, and we will start out with looking back at Altitude. The first video of the week this week was Altitude, the Side View 2D multiplayer airplane combat game. That's quite a mouthful. Altitude was a very interesting game, an interesting concept, not something that you see every day. It is a very well-supported multiplayer game. The company has done a lot, including putting out, just recently, a demo which is essentially unlimited. You can get on and you can play for free. There are certain upgrades and things that you will require the full version of the game for, but that's a brilliant strategy to keep people playing this older or aging multiplayer 2D game. It's a fantastic game. I really enjoyed it as I played it. I did not, however, purchase it because I had exhausted my gaming budget, but I have played the demo a little bit more, and you're seeing that on your screen right now. I did not rate Altitude, but upon playing it a little bit more, I can now confidently rate Altitude 4 bucks out of 5, meaning that it is definitely worth $5. So if you can find that game for under $5, I would definitely recommend that you consider buying it. Next up we had Team Fortress 2, and unfortunately the video sort of devolved into this horrible rant by me about how this particularly cheap tactic that was never really considered off-limits got me banned for 10 minutes from a server that I enjoy playing on, or did enjoy playing on, a while ago when I was playing the game more regularly. Well, I do apologize that that video just became kind of a, a bitch fest, for lack of a better word, but I hope that you got a good look at Team Fortress. It is a fantastic free-to-play, and though I did not rate it in the video, a mistake on my part, I hope that you could tell that my rating would have been five bucks out of five. After all, I did pay full price for this game in the orange box once upon a time. Team Fortress is fantastic. I would recommend that you play it. It is free. You need absolutely no money invested in this game to be able to get everything you want out of it. But if you do choose to invest money, take a look at it. They're constantly having sales in the pay shop, which is called the Manco Shop. It's accessible right from within the game. Nice and easy. And we ended our week this week with Horde, the game where you play a dragon, a greedy dragon who hoards away gold and princesses. Yes, princesses. If you watch the video, you know that I became particularly obsessed with snatching a princess. After much effort, I did manage to snatch a princess, and I celebrated with a squeal of joy. Well, not really, just a well-deserved pat on the back. I rated Horde 4 bucks out of 5. After playing it a little bit longer, I, I can definitely see where some of the negative reviews of this game have come from. It does start to lose its luster after a little while. However, I can still recommend the game at the discounted price of $5 or less. Therefore, even upon review, I will still keep my 4 out of 5 buck rating. The game probably isn't worth full price, at least not to me, but you may make a different determination. It's a fantastic game. It does have a demo available, so check that out. Horde. Be a greedy dragon. Steal princesses. So that was the week that was. That is three games, three videos, and three verdicts. Let's talk a little bit now about what's happening in the realm of the cheap. Well, right now on Steam, Dino D-Day is having a free-to-play weekend as well as a discount to $4.99. What is Dino D-Day? Well, let me read you the description that is on the Steam page. The year is 1942. Adolf Hitler has succeeded in resurrecting dinosaurs. The reptilian horde has trampled Europe and the Mediterranean. Can nothing stop the Nazis' dinosaur army? Dino D-Day is a frantic, action-packed multiplayer game that transports you to a World War II that should have been. Yes, indeed. Dino D-Day. I have seen some mixed reviews of this game, but the concept is fantastic. World War II... Marines and army versus dinosaurs and the dinosaurs aren't just dinosaurs. They have like guns and stuff on them It's fantastic at least take a look at the free-to-play decide whether or not it's right for you I unfortunately cannot participate in it 
but hopefully all of you can give it a look. Now, the reason that I can't participate in the Dino D-Day free-to-play weekend is because of my other piece of news. The Humble Indie Bundle 3 is out, and it contains several fantastic games. What is the Humble Indie Bundle? Well, if you don't know, let me give you a quick rundown. The Humble Indie Bundle is a fantastic piece of charity work where indie developers submit their games to a pack that is then placed on sale for whatever you want to pay for it. Some people pay a penny. Some people, like Notch, the creator of Minecraft, pay thousands of dollars for it. It's up to you what you pay. Your money goes to charity. This year the charities are the Electronic Frontier Foundation, who watches out for our rights in the mass of the unknown world of electronica, the internet, and such, as well as Child's Play, which is a great charity which tries to involve uh, children in hospitals, terminal illnesses, that sort of thing, in gaming. It tries to bring gaming and joy to some kids. It's gamers giving back, essentially. You choose how much you want to pay. You even choose how your payment is distributed. You set how much you want the developers to get, how much you want the charities to get, and uh, sort of the tip that you want to go to the maintainers of the humble, humble Indie Bundle to go towards their operating costs. Well, let's get something straight here. Just because they're offering this at a pay-what-you-want-to price structure doesn't mean that you little kitties out there get to be cute and pay a penny. Well, I mean, I can't stop you from being dicks, but if you're going to, don't go spreading it around on the internet, okay? If you're going to be a dick, be ashamed of being a dick. In, in the, the world that I grew up in, people were ashamed to rip off a charity. If you're not, shame on you. I personally paid $25 for the Humble Indie Bundle. That's $5 per game. I wish I could have paid more, but I couldn't. You should pay what you can afford to pay, but have some integrity and pay something. Something that would at least cover the operating costs of the website. A dollar per game. Something. This is a time to be generous, not to be a complete and utter asshole. Okay, let me turn off stern voice mode here, and uh, let's talk a little bit about the games in this year's Humble Indie Bundle. For Humble Indie Bundle 3, the games are Crayon Physics Deluxe, Cogs, V, 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 Hammer Flight, excuse me, Hammer Fight, and also And Yet It Moves. And in addition to that, you get what amounts to a two-week trial of Minecraft. Yes, Minecraft. If you're out there and you've heard about Minecraft, and I know you've heard about Minecraft if you're a gamer, and you've wondered what it was, but you didn't want to pay to find out, Minecraft is available to purchasers of the Humble Indie Bundle as a two-week free trial. I would definitely encourage you to take a look at the website. It is HumbleIndieBundle.com. I have purchased the Humble, the Humble Indie Bundle, and in fact... Next week is Humble Indie Bundle Week. Yes, I will be covering all five games. This is the reason I can't play the Dino D-Day free-to-play weekend. I need to make five videos for all five games in the Humble Indie Bundle for release next week. These videos will also be going up on TGN. I have recently become a junior director on TGN thanks to my Rift content, and I will be placing these Humble Indie Bundle videos on the TGN Games channel. So, find them here on Big Dave is Cheap, but when you see the odd formatting on them, you'll know that's because they're also featured on TGN Games. And there we go, guys. That's going to do it. Another long one. Like I said, I want this show to be under five minutes, but when speaking about the Humble Indie Bundle, I didn't want to place any time constraints on myself. I wanted to get all of my thoughts and feelings out on that. So, take a look at the Humble Indie Bundle. Take a look at the Humble Indie Bundle week on Big Dave is Cheap next week. As always, I have been Big Dave, and until next week, guys, take it easy.